is what we got this morning. That's not good, huh? The blower inside is clear, believe it or not, so we know our defrost is working. I don't think the fans are running on this thing inside. Well, they're not running. I think we have an issue with them, so we're going to look into that, see if we can get these fans going. So that's obviously what's causing this thing to freeze up, most likely. This is an old Frederick unit. I believe these things are from about 1983. He still runs though, but these things, these are having trouble. Uh, anyway, see what's wrong? It's got our breaker trip for our fans. Believe it or not, look at the size of this thing. It's only a seven amp breaker. So we gotta figure out why this trip. You may have a wiring problem, a motor issue. Who knows? Uh, we'll reset that and see what happens. Yeah, hear me, we're gonna reset this thing, watch. instantly we got a dead short somewhere we gotta figure it out I gotta look into this contact in here maybe uh, that goes into the fans so we got a dead short in the wires or a motor or that contact or something I just connected the two wires that are going inside to our fans contact is pulled in breaker is staying on so that's telling me now I either gotta shorten these wires going inside or we got something going on in the evaporator it's gotta be a dead motor or a burnt out wire or something in there. And now the breaker's not blowing. If I hook these up, the breaker trips immediately. So this defrost clock doesn't feel right to me. It feels awful stiff like it's sticking. Um, I'm gonna pull this off. I wanna see if that motor's spinning in the back too. We might be having an issue here with this clock that's screwing up the fans here. Well, either way, we got a bad clock here, guys. I got this on. I do have power going to my one and N for my 230 volts to power this motor. You can see this motor's not spinning. It's supposed to be spinning. So we have a defrost clock that's bad here as well. Um, I'm gonna start with that and see where it goes. So I'm changing out this clock now, guys. We keep these on our trucks, 81, 45, 20, the Paragons. When you're changing these, always just do one wire at a time, guys. Never take them all off at once. You see all the wires on here? And in here, you will have a friggin' nightmare if you tried. I did this when I was younger and ended up with a disaster trying to figure out what went to what. So just always any electrical component you do, contactors, anything, guys, just always do one wire at a time. Trust me, because it can get very confusing. And if you get them, all you need is one wire in the wrong spot, and you're going to be in a real mess. Clock is in. I don't know if you can see this. If you look right there. See this motor, see that? See this motor is now spinning. So this clock is now spinning, operating properly, gonna do its thing. Um, I'm also going to change out this contact and we're gonna look at that. That may be pitted or whatever. You can see how that's white like that. The whiteness on there and whatnot. That means this thing's probably getting pitted um, on the contact points in there. So most likely I'm going to Checking my truck, I'm pretty sure I have one. I'm gonna change this out too, just as a precaution. Well, here we are inside, we got motor, as we go. There's motor on the left hand one, and I see the stuff is dead. I'm gonna get up there and check that too. Let's see what's going on with the clock. One over here is good. A couple other blows in the back and over there, but we got one issue with the motor here as well. Here we are. Let's see this. See that? stuck on those ice in here. Chips of ice in there. Sometimes when these things don't run, freeze up and the motors will hit ice and stick. We gotta open this up, get that ice out of there, and see if this motor's still good. That motor, the motor was bad. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but it's all, it's all a mess. This motor's cooked though. <clears throat> it's all burnt out on the windings in there see it sorta of. see it a lot better in person but I'm gonna go grab another motor down at the supply house or whatever and come back and change this out. Alright boys all running the motor's in I didn't film that because I was standing on top of like an eight foot ladder so I really didn't want to fall off but that's it things should be good now we all know how to put a motor in so Really need to miss much of that time. <laughs> All right, guys, so there we are. 
you can see um, we have multiple issues with that freezer um, I'm thinking the way that motor was um, the way that motor got like it, the motor obviously burnt out so I'm thinking the way that was tripping the breaker instantly you know it goes back to the clock and everything too um, off the four terminal on that so I'm thinking that might have done something it burnt out burnt out that clock motor that was what I'm thinking I changed out the contactor too you saw on that contactor I couldn't open up the front uh, there was one of those ones that was solid the front didn't come off so I couldn't look at look at the legs on that and everything but not a bad little call it's an older freezer it's all up and running good now so I'm hoping you guys enjoyed that if you got any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or whatever you guys know so good to uh, get a video up for you guys today I know it's been a while like I said I've been on a lot of just maintenances and stuff right now guys you know it's kind of that in-between season before it gets real cold and you know heat starting a bit but not not a lot yet so it's just it's been a lot of maintenance and things like that so nothing really interesting that I feel that I would you know really want to put up and show you guys so but anyways guys as always I appreciate all the support um, if you're new consider subscribing um, follow me on Instagram two guys. It's at CSC refrigeration and HVAC I post on there a lot more frequently because it's a lot easier to just put up pictures and stuff like that So I appreciate it all boys and I uh, hope everyone's doing well and I catch you boys in the next one